Welcome back to the Delaware Way. Here's something that's a real concern in the state. A new survey shows that 41% of high school seniors heading off to college aren't fully prepared for what's ahead of them. Shauna Payne is the director of the Higher Education Office at the Delaware Department of Education. Shauna, thank you so much. This, this has got to be startling to you. Yes. Um, so this is our fourth year of doing the report. And so we started out just trying to get a handle on the issue, but definitely seeing that 41% of our students who are choosing to go to college are still not ready for those courses is definitely troubling and concerning for us. And we have to make that mm -hmm. distinction because a lot of people say, well, nobody's ready to go to college. You're talking about specifically academically they're not ready. Right. These are students who are struggling either in math courses or with their writing skills or their reading comprehension who just are not ready to take those courses that they need. Now you take that report, what do you do with it? We're trying to raise awareness both for parents and for students so that they understand that getting into college doesn't automatically mean your child is ready. Even so much in, we're looking at the report, we're looking at classes students are taking in high school and which courses correlate more so to students needing re remediation so that we can better understand where those issues are and, and work with our schools. So is, it a, is there a problem with the high schools? It's not just our high schools. It really starts earlier. So we can look as far back as fifth grade and see that our students' level of proficiency in math and reading starts to take a dive. And so what we need to really do is look at our systems and practices to really help students address those gaps before they graduate. And it's not to say that because somebody is not proficient in writing or, or math mm -hmm. that they wouldn't be a brilliant biologist or a, or a CEO of a company. Mm -hmm. It just means they're falling behind because of whatever. Absolutely. And they need, they need a bridge. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what is that bridge? So in college, that bridge looks like remedial courses. So it might be that they need to take extra courses before they can start their traditional courses for their major. It might mean they're taking courses alongside. What we want to try to do, because for students, that also means extra money they have to pay for college. And we know how much college costs already, and it's hard enough to come up with the money to pay for it. So we want to work with our schools to look at supports to help those students whether they need extra tutoring or extra support in the classroom or change in instruction so that they can learn those th things early. Is there a particular type of student that falls behind? Uh, that, that when you look at these surveys, mm -hmm. are, there, are, are there students that are brilliant in one area but not maybe you are falling behind in this area? Certainly that happens, but definitely what we are seeing is the majority of students are struggling on both sides of it. Um, particularly in terms of the writing piece of it and the literacy side of it. Uh, what we are seeing, unfortunately, though, is there are gaps for students. So if we look at different subgroups of students, whether it's students of color, students who are English language learners, students who have been identified um, as having special needs, they often have much higher remediation rates than their peers. We need to change the system for the people that need it right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Because many times what people do, and I understand this is an important part of the, uh, of the solution, is they go back and say, we're going to help these kids. Mm -hmm. We help the kids in the mm -hmm. third grade mm -hmm. and the fifth grade who might mm -hmm. be falling behind. And then the question always is, well, what about the kids right, right now? Right. Uh, and, and what is this? So when you talk about remedial classes, do you mean summer classes? Or, or is this your first year of college? It varies, but for the Delaware schools, often it is your first year of college. So that first semester, you're taking these remedial courses before you actually start your regular courses. If they want to graduate with the rest of their class, then they have to double up on on classes exactly. later on, and exactly. that hurts them. Exactly, exactly. And what that often leads to is students drop out, low motivation, especially if a student is particularly far behind and may need more than one of these courses to take. So some of our colleges are looking at ways that they can restructure their programs so that students can get the supports they need in the areas of weakness while still getting started. How do you convince a college to do that and give up the money that that would normally involve? Well, the reality is even though it's, it costs uh, money and so in theory it sounds like they're getting more money, having to keep students there longer actually costs them more money. Is that right? Uh, yeah, because they're, all, they're having to pay for and create courses that aren't college courses. So they're having to pay, create a whole section of a department of professors who are there to teach high school classes. Um, so that actually costs them money. And so there's motivation for them to want to their graduation rates to look better, to get students started where they need to as quickly as possible. And information is a powerful tool. So being able to understand where those gaps are, our schools have really been motivated. So they're actually partnering with us. I do also want to point out that much of the conversation we hear around the country 
of free college or free community college. Mm -hmm. The plan that we heard President Obama lay out and the plan that they're starting in New York right now, that started in Delaware. Yes. Uh, do you feel like you get enough credit for that? Not at all. Not at all. So thank you for bringing that up. Yes, we have the SEED uh, scholarship for our students. So any student who has a 2.5 GPA, um, doesn't have any discipline issues and graduates from a Delaware high school can go to Delaware Tech Community College for free. And so that's a huge it's value amazing. for our students. No, it's amazing and it does so much because it gives an opportunity for kids that normally wouldn't have that opportunity to be able to go to college if they just fly right. Exactly. And, and so you have parents now telling their kids, mm -hmm. look, it, you stay out of trouble, right. we get to go to college and I wouldn't be able to pay for that otherwise. Absolutely. So it's a wonderful, wonderful program. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, you being here. Shauna Payne, Director of the Higher Education Office at the Delaware Department of Education. When we come back, you've seen them here a lot, Christiana Care, they just won a big award. We'll tell you about it when we come right back.